What is up everyone, my name is Alfred from Games Group and today we're looking at something slightly different. Now obviously bearing in mind I do normally focus on Dreamcast, Homebrews, all that sort of stuff, but this, it really did catch my eye. Now I did hear this on a podcast recently, but it's called Emu OS. Now straight off the bat you're going to say, does that just mean emulation? I mean technically yes. So it is basically a, I don't know how to describe it, a virtual environment, a virtual archive that mimics Windows, Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows ME, and there's actually a lot of different applications and games that can be run in here. I think this is great because, you know, at the end of the day, not everyone can even get hold of old PCs, let alone ones that actually work and work with the games that are already on there. We're talking Red Alert, we're talking Tomb Raider, we're talking Doom, we're talking Half-Life, all in this environment. Let's take a look. So this is is it. This is MUOS, and you basically get a choice straight off the bat. Windows 95, Windows 98, or Windows ME. Well, let's not do ME, but yes, obviously, the choice you're really going to go for is 95 or 98. Let's go for, uh, let's go for 95 and see what happens. Okay, so this is it. It basically, as you can see, starts off exactly how an older system does. We're straight into Windows 95, Boom, this is it. So you, basically it starts off with a notepad. Uh, the purpose of the Emupedia, Emulation Encyclopedia, is to serve as a non-profit meta resource hub and community for those interested mainly in video game preservation and computer history, which aims to digitally collect, archive and preserve games and software to make them available online, accessible by a user-friendly UI, which obviously you can see basically looks like Windows 95. Uh, that simulates several retro operating systems for educational purposes. We mainly collect content from a wide variety of systems no longer in production, abandonware, shareware, or freeware games, websites, open source ports, etc., etc., etc. Now, they do actually obviously go on to tell you that basically, you know, if you're not happy that, you know, if you own a game and you're not happy with them or having it, then obviously let them know and they will take it down. But as you can see, <laughs> quite the resource here if you're a gamer you're gonna like what's on here we got ski free e sheep let's so obviously e sheep basically is a sheep that just comes up on your desktop so double click it here it is there's a little loading icon i only assume then what it should do okay so that does not appear to be a sheep <laughs> okay which i thought it would be anyway so that didn't quite do what I expected it to do. But obviously you can see Minecraft is here. You can do Minecraft, you can do Doom, you ski free. Let's double click that. Here we go. And as you can see, this is ski free. Ski free in a virtual environment. I was never good at ski free, but this is it here. And obviously, if you remember, ski free doesn't actually have any sound. Um, so it'd be interesting to try a game very, very shortly, which does have sound. But this is it, ski free works as you'd expect. So let's close that down. Tomb Raider's here. Command and Conquer's here. Diablo's here. Half-Life is here. Let's see if Half-Life runs. Oh, man. Half-Life 1, running in a browser. Wow. I didn't quite expect this. So, Hazard Course Uplink is the demo. Day 1, extended demo, retail, or deathmatch. So you can even play multiplayer here. So this is... Uh, obviously, I assume you can make the screen bigger. You can, but it doesn't obviously change the, uh, the way the game looks. But that's fine. Let's just try. Let's just try Uplink. See how well it runs. Like I said, this is uh, pretty crazy when you think about it. What this is really doing. Here we go. Oh, look at this. How is this going to play though? Oh man. Sound sounds okay so far. Oh. Oh. 
Here we go. Open up the reactor complex so we can get down to safety. I'm sorry, but those doors will not open until we send the all clear. So send it already. I would love to do that, but the aerial bombardment has made a wreck of my transmitter. The cables are severed. We'd have to aim it by hand, and I'm getting high radiation levels in the transmitter dome. Nobody but a fool would go in there. What about this guy? Huh. Yes, you could survive in that suit of yours. Very well. I will lower security on the satellite. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, look, straight into the menu. We could exit the game. Let's quit the game. Okay. Wow. Like I said, I'm kind of gobsmacked at this because you just don't... Do you really expect to see this? I mean, I can't say I did. Uh, I mean, just look at all the games here. They're all here. But it does say you can load um, ISO images. You've got Windows Update programs. Does that do anything? I don't think it does. Bearing in mind, this is in the beta at the moment. If you right-click, refresh, you can even change the themes. 3.1. 95, etc. So that's cool as well. It does say, though, that you can, you can even open Discord here. Take, surely not. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Discord. But I'm guessing you... Now, are these real people? I don't think they are. Oh, my God. It actually is. So you can actually... Wow, you can actually log in and use Discord on this virtual environment. we got Mario, we won't show that. Uh, Diablo, Quake 2, Doom, Doom 3, which I am actually quite surprised by. Let's try a bit of con uh, Command & Conquer, see how that runs. Probably get copyright strike if there's loads of music. Global Defense Initiative selected. Are you picking this up? Wow, wow. Good. Wow. No, you need more deep background, but we're There's up against a cat in the way. Nod forces have fortified this beachhead at X16Y42. I Intelligence is am still coming in, so we can't tell you. Dumbfounded. A lot. We found a chink in their armor. This is incredible. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces now, on shore right Now you've got to here. think what you games can come to this. From his gunboats, but you know, this is you've basically wonderful. got all the classics here already. The is simple. But you know, got all if you can basically get a store, or you can just and establish add a stuff by to your kind of. Background, what? if it can keep you back. It's not a dust box right now, though. Okay, there you Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. New construction Reinforcements have arrived. How do I move? Does this make it any different? It does! It even enlarges it! But hey, let's close that down. Yes, so as you can see, tons and tons to do here. Worms, DOSBox, Tomb Raider, Half... Oh my god. Paint? Who doesn't love paint? We got paint. What else we got? Winamp? My god! Is he really going to whip the llama's ass? Winamp. Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. My good God. Now, this is incredible. Nope, don't want copyright strike. Uh, Minecraft is here. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at this. We've got Minecraft as well. This is incredible. As always, guys, let me know what you think of this. Because I, like I said, I'm pretty damn gobsmacked by this. I didn't expect it to be this awesome. But this is it. EMUOS is in beta, and it's going to only get better from here. Unless, you know, let's face it. Someone's got to lawyer up at some point, right? So yes, this is actually in beta stage still. So you got to remember, it's not 100% yet. It's constantly being developed. Now, see, like I said, you know, ultimately, if there are some legality issues, the games, etc., can be removed. So they're there at the moment. Maybe they'll keep it on the download. Maybe nothing will happen. 
Who knows? But uh, hopefully they'll be adding more games as well. Now you can also download this. All the links are in the description below. You can download it. Apparently you can even run ISO. So I obviously didn't delve into that part. But yes, this is really, really interesting. I really love this. Obviously let me know what you think. Because, like I said, not something I normally look at. But I thought I kind of I had to check this out. As always, drop a comment and a like and subscribe. It's Al signing out.